Good afternoon or early evening. Treasure Troller here. Uh, no sight today. Uh, thought I'd give you a little view of the other river, the nice calming river. It's been a long day today. I uh, want to give a couple of couple of corrections or one correction and one follow-up I guess the first correction is the in the Albert uh, in the Abbott video I can't think of what his first name is now George Abbott at the cemetery when I said his sister and the wife of Minty had the coin and to a pawn shop or used it that that was incorrect she took it to a coin show and that's where it was displayed and verified as part of the Civil War booty the other thing was during the show <coughs> excuse me uh, Mr. Dykstra talked about Um, gosh, I can't even remember now. It's been that long of a day. Oh, I think he talked about, uh, Hackley. Uh, funding that railroad. Uh, I haven't, I didn't see any evidence of that. I couldn't find anything of that. And I think it being an asset and... A depreciable item. Uh, he he. It would have been mentioned. Uh, I didn't find anything to the contrary. Um, I'll get into that later. But I'll talk about today. And I have a couple of spoilers. Today I spent at the campus of MSU, Michigan State University, in the Archive Department. And I went over quite a few of the Hackley uh, information they had on there on file. I know I looked up a lot of, uh, I know I looked up some of the stuff that uh, those guys had been to. And, uh, I think I found something else that um, well it it sort of ends it for me anyways it's a pretty logical seems to be a fairly logical explanation if you believe and you really really believe in the Civil War gold then this may be one of the best explanations. So that's going to be in a couple of days. Uh, I've got to kind of think it through. The, the the one concern that I do have is they're they're they play a little bit loose with the dates. So I'm kind of deciding if how important that that really is for uh, the video. So that's what I'm kind of mulling over, and I got to download the files, print them, and uh, re review them, kind of look them over. But um, it is a pretty good explanation, and it even f follows some of what they were talking about. And I don't think they looked in this box. The archive department is pretty cool. The, the Hackley stuff is actually literally in boxes, in cardboard boxes. And you you ask for a box, they run downstairs and they get it for you. And then you open the box and it's a bunch of folders. And then they're all labeled. And you go to the folder number, you pull it out, it's really cool. So, 
I think I was into a box that they might not have been into. And I want to save that for a couple of days. So, spoiler number one. The stock certificate that they showed on TV is technically right, but not really. The more accurate one is this one. Vipont Vipoint Vipont Mining Company. That is the actual mining company. And uh, I had found this even before I got there probably a week ago um, searching through some stuff. I was a little bit ahead of it. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in the next video. A couple of names that are going to come up like I did with the with the Abbott, and that's why I really didn't talk about it before, because they didn't really mention Abbott. I don't know why. That's the big name that they use. What got them all up to Frankfurt. So, um, I was a little bit reluctant to, to use this one, but they're heading out west, and we're going to I guess make a little bit of timeline on it and uh, go from there. The other spoiler is this is a good one too. You see this stock certificate one more time. Oh, and I've got to say, this is the one that Dykstra had marked, Mr. Nims. That name will come up too. I already knew about them about a week or so ago. I was wondering if they were going to bring those guys up. Um, but Nims and a couple other guys come to play. So I'll just leave it at that. But the other spoiler is the reason why I'm showing you that stock certificate and that I can show you that stock certificate is because I actually had to pay a $25 fee. That's right. All the archive stuff, and that's why it's going to be difficult to go over some of the stuff with you. You cannot reproduce it, and you cannot... Well, you can get a copy of it, but you can't show the copy. You have to pay a $25 fee for every one that you show. So the spoiler, the second spoiler is Mr. Dykstra and whoever he was with, they only paid the 20 cents for the copy. They didn't pay the $25. So more than likely, probably today's Thursday, the archive department saw the episode on Tuesday. So within a couple of days, Mr. Dykstra is going to get a bill in the mail for $25. So... You can get a little chuckle out of that. But anyways, thanks to the few subscribed who have subscribed. The enlightened ones. The ones that will know the truth. Who are not afraid of the truth. And will see the truth. So hit the like button. Tell a couple people to check it out. I promise you the next couple of videos are going to be pretty cool. I tried to get one today, and uh, I just uh, I couldn't get my my notepad or whatever to work. My notebook wouldn't give me any sound, give me video, but not sound. And I needed both cameras because it depends on how accurate that you want their information to be. Because. Uh, well, tomorrow when we go back to Hackley Park, you're going to see a little discrepancy. So you're going to have to decide if that discrepancy is 
you can deal with if you can't you know if you think it's a little bit much um, that's up to you like I said I'm not running around fact checking these guys um, I think they're honest people I think they're on a mission and like I said I last episode was called Sand Castles and Wet Dreams I think um, this episode is called should be called something like ignore the obvious focus on the obscure um, so history channel subscribe to my channel I watch all your shows give me a like give me a comment mr. Dykstra you know there's not enough people to give you a problem you can comment if you want But I do promise you that, and I'll, gi I'll give you a forewarning of when it's coming up, but it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a good video. I hate to promote it like that, and then it turns out to be a flop, but all things point to it being um, just a really, really crazy video, potentially um potentially it kind of will make someone think a little bit so with that good night and uh i will probably post another video i know i'll get at least one up hopefully tomorrow um uh, definitely saturday morning and i'll probably have another one that's uh kind of going over some of the theories and then we will have the big video so till then another shout out to tennessee adventures subscribe to his channel take a look a lot of metal detecting a lot of good stuff uh, thanks to those few who subscribed the enlightened so Treasure Troller signing off for the day.